What's up, retroactivist? Kenzie Retro here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're back with more from The Last of Us. Now, episode two just aired on uh, aired earlier this week, so it's that time of the week once again where we are going to be going into detail regarding the episode. Now, again, this will be the spoiler-free review, whereas you can find the spoiler uh, the spoiler review in uh, in the description below on my fan house page if you guys want to support me uh, over there. So, uh, Jakarta gets mentioned in... Um, so Jakarta gets mentioned in uh, the opening uh, episode next week, and uh, we actually start the episode here. Uh, so, yeah, the, the way they actually... Is the way they actually establish um, how the infection, how the um, how this, how the cordyceps started spreading worldwide, is um, is really chilling and uh, yeah, in some areas very very disturbing at the same time, because um, I mentioned last week that uh, the spores were not gonna be. Um, the spores were not going to be featured in the TV show. Uh, this was confirmed by uh, Neil Druckmann, one of the executive producers, uh, before the show uh, premiered. And the way they went about uh, the the way they went about uh, showing how people get inf uh, get infected, apart from the bites, which we all know from the games. Uh, no, I hang on. No, no, it's it's the spores in the game, but sometimes you get infected by the bites as well. Um, so yeah, um, uh, and 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 just for context, folks, this is the this is a spoiler this is spoiler free for the TV show, and uh, while uh, while also trying to make sure I don't go into too much detail regarding spoilers for the game, because again, the spoilers for the game tie into the spoilers for the episode. Which I'm going to go into detail on in um, in my spoiler in my spoiler review, which you can find on my fan house page uh, later on today. Um, but yeah, um, so uh, the way the way the cinematography is for this episode, the the fact that you have uh, points where you uh, you have Joel and Ellie. Um, getting closer together on screen uh and and that is and that is and that is shown incredibly well through the cinematography um and the camera work and just overall the writing for the show in, uh, is really well done i mean i mean neil Druckmann had a very um neil Druckmann had a very hands on approach with uh, this particular episode because this is where we get introduced to the clickers and oh my word, are they more terrifying than we thought? Because we know how terrifying the clickers are in the game. This elevates it tenfold. It is... The, the biggest thing, the biggest challenge that I feel that they had for this was having the... Having the, uh, the action, having the, uh, the gameplay set pieces um how they were going to transition those into live action in the TV show and they i think they did a great job with this once again uh cuz like I say the clickers oh my word it is <laughs> oh my word it's whether it's whether it's a high octane action set piece much like the prologue of the first episode last week or the more quiet and tension-filled moments like this, trying to stay silent for the clickers. Otherwise, otherwise, because they, because they end up, because they have really sensitive hearing, any sudden loud noises, and boom, there you go. Whew. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Uh, yeah, uh, the way they approached Tess's death, 
as well in this episode. Um, yeah, it's, um, hmm. It is very, very unnerving. Very unnerving, but in a good way. Because it again emphasizes the, um, uh, the bleakness of the situation that everybody is uh, involved uh, involved in. Um, so the way the way the episode ended, uh, it was intriguing how they, it was intriguing how they departed from the game at that particular point. Uh, but again, these departures necessary, creative changes made for dramatic purposes, and. This is another one of those cases where it works in the show's favor because it's, uh, uh, just uh, just thinking about that moment. Just, uh, uh. But yeah, it is absolutely incredible how well done um, the um, the ending of that episode uh, is. Oh, I mean. Whew. Wow, where do we? I mean, you, I mean, you've still. I honestly love the chemistry between uh, Joel, Tess, and Ellie in the episode. I love the chemistry between them. Again, um, testament to how amazing the acting is in the uh, the episode, and it is simply one of. Th this this drives home the point that I made. Uh, last week, this is one of the best uh, video game adaptations uh, that I've um, that I've seen, and we've still got a couple of months of this to go. So, yeah, this where do I mean, this then begs the question: Where do we go from here in terms of next week's episode? Uh, there are a couple of uh, there are a couple of names that were mentioned in the first episode that weren't mentioned here. So I found that very um I found that intriguing um how they're gonna how they're gonna go about that particular portion of the uh the story of the game. Um but yeah overall uh there's definitely um uh I mean I mean it it's emphasized it's emphasized uh that the that Joel and Tess not really nice people, but they've got a job to do, and they're determined to get it done, uh, whatever, uh, whatever the cost. Uh, and that cost is um, emphasised right at the start of the uh, the episode. Uh, no, right at the end of the episode. Even. Uh, but yeah, um, there are there are a couple of uh, Easter eggs uh, in there as well that could um, that will give us a, a bit of. Um, relief from the the bleakness that we've been experiencing uh so far but um but yeah uh overall another fantastic episode and i'm really looking forward to seeing where they go from um uh from here what what happens in terms of uh, joel and ellie's relationship how that develops in the tv show uh and also with the and also with how important um, uh, with with the uh, the the, emph uh, the importance of Ellie is going to be emphasised more as the series goes on, and I will say I really hope we get a second season out of this because I will be very intrigued to see where they go from here in terms of adapting The Last of Us Two, whether they split that whether they split that one over uh, two seasons remains to be seen, but. Part of me really hopes that they do split The Last of Us 2 over two seasons, which then gives us time potentially for The Last of Us 3, which then which will then bring everything full circle and bring it, bring an end to The Last of Us story, especially with the way The Last of Us 2 ended. Uh, so we could end up getting four, maybe five seasons out of this. Who knows? But time will tell. But I mean, I wouldn't be at all surprised if we get I wouldn't be at all surprised. Actually, yeah, yeah. So, like I said, we could end up, we could easily get four, maybe five seasons out of uh, out of the Last of Us alone if we get a third game in the franchise. But that remains to be seen. You can let me know what your thoughts are of the episode in the comments below. 
And if you want to check out my spoiler review, you can do so on my fan house page, which you can find in the description uh, below. Um, uh, so you can you can go over there, support me there. That's where my spoiler reviews are gonna be uh, from here on out. Uh, I'm gonna start doing I'm gonna start doing spoiler reviews for um uh, for films um in due course. But uh, until then, folks, I'll uh, I'll see you guys again next week for um for my next review of the next episode. But always remember, folks, to stay retroactive. And uh, also, make sure you watch out for those clickers. I'll see you guys next week.